10 suspected militants were killed in an encounter with the CRPF, which also left one CRPF jawan injured in an intense firefight in Manipur's Jiribam. The confrontation began after a police station that doubled as a CRPF camp came under attack from militants. Locals in the area have called for a complete shutdown. In fact, uh, this is with the district management announcing Section 163 on night curfew of the Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita after the encounter. All right, so that is the latest that we're given to understand with the situation. Let's tell you, uh, violence, of course, has marred Jiribam here. The CRPF kills 10 suspected militants, and the militants had attacked the police station, is what we know. They attacked the police station, uh, a CRPF camp, that is. But one Jawan has been seriously injured in the shutdown. But in Jiribam, after this particular uh, incident took place. The aftermath is that the locals have called for a complete shutdown. So what is that ground situation looking like at the moment? We'll try going across to my colleague. But night curfew has been imposed as of now. The 10 suspected militants who were killed in an encounter with the CRPF, which uh, has left one CRPF Jawan injured. This was an intense firefight that took place. In fact, the confrontation began after a police station that doubled as a CRPF camp came under attack from militants. Meanwhile, the forces uh, deployed in the state continue their operations. The locals have called for a complete shutdown. Priyank, my colleague, joins me for more. Priyank, good morning. Clearly, the situation on ground continues to remain intense. But what more can you tell us about this particular incident? I think, uh, there was a area domination which was happening from by the security forces in the uh, Jibam area. Uh, knowing the fact that two days back, a civilian a lady was uh, brutally killed by the militants in the uh, area, which also had retaliatory action from the members from the other community. So the tension was rising, and suddenly uh, the militants uh, came near the police force, and it was suspected that they could have attacked the police force. Uh, CRPF and uh, the local police was deployed. In the retaliation, uh, 10 militants were eliminated by the security forces. Uh, but that has certainly created a major risk in between members of the Hilly community and uh, the central forces because uh, the people from the Hilly community were not in favor of removal of Assam rifle from the hills of Manipur. But uh, the CRPF came in picture saying that uh, they would be providing proper security. But since uh, these uh, actions have also been initiated, uh, along with the local police and the CRPF, uh, there has been curfew which has been imposed because the members of the Heli Committee, the Cookie uh, Committee, have been saying that uh, we will hold a bun because they condemned this action by the central forces because, according to them, these were the local uh, village volunteers who were protecting them. Uh, so major uh, issue has been escalated once this action has been initiated. Uh, but the big fact is that a heavily armed uh, 10 militants with RPG launchers and sophisticated weapons have been eliminated, eliminated by the security forces, which is a major uh, information coming out from Manipur. Right, Priyanka. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning and helping us better understand what that ground reality is looking like. And more importantly, the key takeaways as far as this incident is concerned. But for now, we leave it at that because we're shifting our focus to the run-up.